Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Let's get straight to it. It's, it's turned into an active evening. We saw hail in, in Shasta County. Yeah, we've got some thunderstorms going on. Well, we had some thunderstorms in Tehama and Shasta counties. Let's go right into the radar picture and show you what's going on across the area. And things kind of quieting on down in other areas of the valley and in the mountains. There's a general idea of the activity of the storm kind of winding on down. But then you get into uh, Tehama and Shasta counties, and we continue to see some areas of moderate rain and some heavy rain here as well. This was a line of thunderstorms. I don't see any lightning strikes going on right now being detected, but certainly some pockets of locally heavy rain out there going on at latest check, mainly here in Tehama County. Looks like it's ready to move right through Red Bluff about now. We had thunder reported in Red Bluff about an hour ago, but not right now. Also had some reports of hail also being reported uh, by Doppler radar right here to the west southwest of, uh, of Red Bluff, kind of in between Red Bluff and Rancho Tehama earlier on. That was about an hour ago or so in that area. And uh, so it's been a, certainly an active afternoon in Shadow and Tehama counties. This line of thunderstorms is currently weakening and will continue to weaken as we get deeper into the evening here overnight. Let's go take a live look from our Tuscan Ridge camera in Tehama County. We're looking off towards the west. Those mountains you may see off in the distance there, that's the coast range. And so you can kind of get an idea of your bearings here. And you see the, the rain and the showers, the rain shafts coming down from the clouds uh, in parts of Tehama County and other areas. Totally dry right about now, so a little bit of a, a mixed bag going on in Tehama County. All right, let's check down with the temperatures that we have. And with that rain nearby, Red Bluff has certainly cooled down a whole lot at 53, just a little bit to the south according. 8 degrees warmer at 61 degrees. 60 in Chico, 40s in the mountains, snow level right now running around 5,500 feet. Our day tomorrow says, don't worry about the umbrella. We can leave that at home. Eight, mild at 8 o'clock in the morning under mostly cloudy skies. Noontime, might need the sunglasses. We'll be in the upper 50s. And by the afternoon hour, might need the T-shirts as we get into the mid-60s with kind of a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. We're going to need the umbrella on Friday. Rain is back. Mainly dry this weekend, maybe a stray shower on Saturday, and then more rain coming next week. So unsettled weather, to say the least, in our forecast. Our current little storm system, here's the heart of it, continuing to work northward, and so our activity will dry up overnight tonight. And Futurecast also showing that we've got a dry day in our forecast for the day tomorrow. We're about dinner time tomorrow, not a drop of rain out there. Looking good. Friday, different story. Now, 10 o'clock in the morning, now you can maybe go run a few morning errands. Looks like fairly dry stuff by the afternoon. Here comes the rain spilling on in. Okay, Friday evening. Here comes the rain moving on in. Saturday, a few scattered showers across the area. Sunday looks dry. So it almost seems like a every other day event here as far as the rain goes. So tomorrow, well, if it rained today, it means tomorrow will be dry. That's what it will be. Mostly cloudy skies. So you may not need the sunglasses in the mountains, but you may not need the umbrella either. High temperatures in the 50s. Not too terribly chilly out there for a, a day after a storm. High temperatures in the 50s on the ridge also. No need for the umbrella tomorrow. In the north end of the valley, we've we'll still got a few scattered showers and thunderstorms going on right now. Tomorrow, though, won't see any of that. Partly cloudy skies, mild temperatures, pretty comfortable finish to our day. In the mid-valley, a few scattered showers, and we'll keep an eye peeled for a thunderstorm developing in uh, Glen County, but it doesn't look too promising for that. Tomorrow, dry, partly cloudy, high temperatures comfortable in the middle 60s. Finally, your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast with weekend is always in view. Back into the rain we go on Friday. Saturday, a few scattered showers. Sunday will be dry and partly cloudy. And then more rain in the forecast Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. None of those storms are big, but it just seems like a lot of them coming our way. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. Coming up in sports day.